It was like way better than I even thought it was going to be. It's delicious. And we're off! And we're off! San Carlos is in the Sea of Cortez. It's a five hour drive, five and a half hours from Tucson, Arizona. It's really close to Waimas. I think the full name of it is San Carlos Nuevo Waimas. The Sea of Cortez, I think, is one of the most biodiverse bodies of water. Super warm a lot of the year. I think the coldest it gets is maybe like into the 60s. Like it's mid-June right now and the water is like 80 degrees, 82. So it's super comfy. And the beaches are really pretty. About 7,000 people live in San Carlos. Everybody's really friendly. The food is really good. One of my favorite things about pulling into San Carlos is sort of the skyline. There's this mountain that kind of just like goes like whoop. It's, How does it go? Whoop. It's like its own little Matterhorn. It's called Tetakawe and it is actually a Yaki word for uh, Rocky Mountain. San Carlos actually was the backdrop for part of one of the Zorro movies with Antonio Banderas and we will be scuba diving right by Zorro Beach which is what it's kind of nicknamed. It's a really popular wedding destination as well like a lot of people go down to San Carlos to get married because it's so picturesque and it's just got really good low-key beach vibes. It's a sleepy beach town that's freaking awesome. It's a great spot to rely. We've got some good restaurants that we're gonna stop in. We've got some good scuba diving. Good smooches. Yeah. So we are stopping for gas at the Mariposa exit. And there's also a- It's a little windy. Like a currency exchange. But we like to have pesos on hand. Um, especially when we go to restaurants that take cash only. So I'm gonna go exchange some money. We are going through a toll. We are. Right when you get in. This first toll will take US dollars, but the exchange is never in your favor. Mm -hmm. okay. So that one was 56 pesos. Like 260 yeah. American. Yeah. Immigration here inspection does appear to be like so much more at random. It's just like you drive through, the light turns red or the light turns green, and that's how they decide whether or not they're going to do your vehicle inspection. There we go. Uh, uh, all right. Well, <laughs> <laughs> they basically just asked to have us open everything. We opened our cooler, they looked in there. We opened up our scuba stuff, they looked in there. We were like, it's for scuba diving, and they went, okay. And then I'm taking Spanish, I'm doing like the Duolingo app right now, and he asked about what's in the backpack, or like what's over here, because he kind of pointed at the backpack. And I was like, what's the word for clothes? I just learned this, and I just remembered. What is La it? ropa. Damn it! Bienvenidos a Mexico. We just passed mile marker or kilometer marker 256 and we're stopping to get a visa, a tourist visa. There's also a place to exchange money, like you can get pesos here as well, but the exchange rate we found is not as good as up at the Mariposa exit, that Circle K. So we got our passport stamped and then they give you this like little visa slip. Save these, keep them where your passport is so you can return them on your way back. We are at the Hermosillo Bypass. They probably cut like a solid half hour on the drive uh, to San Carlos, yeah, which is really great. Think, yeah, it's really good. And it's like a spendier toll, but I, my gosh, it's totally worth it. 100% worth it. We're trying to find our place. I don't think oh this is right. Goodness. I don't. Okay. Nope, okay, turn around. Okay. But look at this view. Okay. Wow. What are you guys doing? Where's your house? 
No, get out of here. Go on. Be, be nice babies. Bad baby. Bad, bad baby. Bad. Okay, we're looking for two ninety seven. Okay, let us know if you see anything, you guys. Sometimes we stay in this house, which is great. It has a great view. You can't go up on the roof deck, but you can fall off the stairs. So, but and that one's great. But we wanted to try somewhere new. I don't know, dude. We're probably like so far off. Okay, what street are we on? This is gonna tell us. We are no longer on Cactus. We're on Ricky and Moosey. I don't think that's real. I think that probably Ricky and Moosey live there. Okay, no. This seems too far from the water. No. Okay. I'm so glad we're here during the day. Oh my gosh, we've done this at night. It's the worst. We found it. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. We had to, the guy, Mario called us and now we're on our way. Oh, <gasps> this is so pretty. Oh, but it's so nice. So this is our place. We have this adorable little patio space. And then you just go through this door here. And we just got a little studio because that's all we need. Yeah. And we've got this little kitchenette. Yeah, it's got like full cooking supplies down here. And then here's the bathroom. Super cute. Covered parking. Just fantastic. After settling into our Airbnb, we stopped at a new local brewery, watched the sunset at a beautiful lookout spot, and got our gear ready for a fun few days of diving. Good morning. Got some breakfast sandwiches in our toaster oven, and we brought iced coffee, because priorities. It's ugly when I don't have my iced coffee. I'll accept responsibility. Now we just need to make a quick stop at our favorite dive shop, El Mar, to pick up tanks and weights before we can get in the water. We brought all our own dive gear with us, but you can always rent gear with them too. And pet their really cute cat, Botas. We're on our way to the dive site, which is the public beach called Playa Piedras Pintas. It's very popular with the locals and the best spot for shore diving in San Carlos. Oh, and pro tip, if you're gonna go shore diving, bring a table with you to keep the sand out of your gear. We're about to go on dive number one. Hopefully remember how to dive. It's been a few months, so. <laughs> Let's go get wet. Two octopus and that giant eel. Oh my gosh, and this eel, like, it's so obvious that there's no natural predators for the um, green moray here. Because this guy was just like on the bottom, just like out. What? A great tip for finding octopus is when you see like fresh, fresh shells, just open shells, means that the octopus just had a meal, had a little snack, and is now ready for a nap. And that's how we found them, I don't know both of them. I don't know that all of that is science, but a good point of It mind. feels right. And the water was so comfortable. It was like, like 84 degrees at depth. All in all, super successful dive. We're excited for round two. After all that diving, I think it's time for some lunch. Right by the entrance, there's this place that every time we drive by, we're like, we should stop there. And it's, what is it called? Cocos El Loco. So we're gonna try it right now. Wow. What's all in there? <laughs> Everything that I love. Those are pineapple. She asked me if I wanted to add mango. Obviously I did. Um, jicama, a straw of deliciousness, some grapefruit, 
this like tamarind candy, pineapple, lime, heaven, tajin. Oh I'm having a coco de camarón, so it's full of shrimp and clamato. Probably my favorite part is that it's served in a fresh coconut that they just cut over there. Um, and it has little pieces of coconut inside that they cut up to go with the shrimp and it's amazing. Like all this is coconut. Total, including tip, which over tip. Oh, always over tip, so worth it. Uh, that was 300 pesos and $15 for total. US. Do that, oh go, to, the, go, go to, to there. Now that we've showered and taken a little break, we're ready to hit up our favorite sunset spot in San Carlos. Hi. Actually going somewhere. Hello from the Soggy Peso. It's like the best name of a beach bar ever. Ever. This is one of our favorite places to hit up in San Carlos. It's perfect for watching the sunset and getting a couple snacks. And right down the beach from the Soggy Peso is like the best spot to watch sunset. And that's where we're going. I love you in St. Carlos. Day two, feeling good. Today it's a little windier than it was yesterday, which usually means that the water gets a little kicked up, especially at this depth. Um, we're gonna go test it out. Are we going to go test the waters? I almost said it. <laughs> and uh, see how it is and decide right then um, if we're gonna do a second dive or not today. We have the tank, but is it worth it? Let me work it. Put my thing down, flip it and reverse it. I'm just gonna spill the water <laughs> out of my breathing apparatus. I don't wanna get wet. <laughs> La Manga, which is just outside San Carlos. You just keep going down the road to the Soggy Peso, you pass the Soggy Peso and then you just keep going. And it's this awesome little tiny town village. And we're gonna go have some bomb seafood, like, and sit right by the water and love our life. like a bug like they put it on a stilts spider bug. like a spider bug are they all called slug bugs slug bug right i don't i've don't, never played that game once in the long beginning slug bug oh. you've never played i don't you're supposed to hit each other when you see one Is are you gross? yes you slug them i don't like that game 
but I feel like it's coming up, but we've been like eagerly looking for it. Like, is that it? Okay. I think it's okay. coming up. It better be coming up. I feel like, I feel like it's right over here. Just, just around the river bend? Yeah. Nope. The anticipation is killing me. <laughs> okay, is it? Is it? I feel like it's gonna be coming up. No. I don't know. I don't know. I sense, I spidey sense the <laughs> oh. spider bug. Oh. Where is it? I oh don't God. know. There it is. Oh, woo! There it is. Woo! Woo! That's all, folks. Uh, the Sea of Cortez, I think, has the most, one of the most fun. And it's... <laughs> Until I came in. I'm sorry, I didn't. I, didn't. Ah! Oh my God. I tried to put the GoPro out of the window. And how did that go? <laughs> and the camera went like this. Nope. Sankara. Oh, go ahead. No. Sankara. Oh, I'm like struggling with this tiny locket secret keeper key of this glass sliding door and I'm like fighting with it, fighting with it, fighting with it. All of a sudden my brain's like, it's right there, like right here, right about to kiss you right on the cheek. Do you see the size of that thing? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's the size of my entire head. It's an what? understated camera. <laughs> Nobody really notices it when you take it out. Never. They're like, eh, I didn't even run of the mill camera. <laughs> I didn't even realize that you had brought it. I almost forgot it, it's so small. <laughs> I love that it's like only a five mile drive. Five mile. <laughs> I love that it's only a five mile. I'm, okay, I'm hold on talking. You can't, I'm special.